Health News Now, and here's a question for you. What's the most important organ in the human body? Well, some might say it's the heart, but a group of students learned today that it might actually be the brain. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us about the Brain Awareness Fair at Mount Sinai. Well, you, but you know, I'm a neuroscientist, so I vote for the brain anyway, one way or another. Now, when at this, at this conference here today, there, there were other reasons to side with the brain. Five of the top ten causes of the disease burden worldwide are brain disorders, stroke, addiction, depression, Alzheimer's, and psychosis. That and much more is what school kids learn today. The huge Guggenheim Pavilion at Mount Sinai was busier than usual today, crowded with middle schoolers from PS 171 in Manhattan. It was the sixth annual Brain Awareness Fair, exposing young minds to the facts and mysteries of the human brain. There was virtual reality neurosurgery, a big inflatable human brain that taught Shannon some important neuro facts. There is a lot of things that your brain needs to survive. Others learned how nerves control muscles by electrically connecting one girl's arm to her friends. Every time she moves her arm, my arm would move, and every time I move my arm, her arm would move. The idea is partly to expose kids to the wonders of the brain, and also to get them excited about science, kind of like the director of the Friedman Brain Institute. I'm a scientist, so I, I'm still a kid when it comes to science. I love it, and I, I fear that our too, much, too many of our young people are not exposed to that excitement. Seems that these fifth graders are getting the message. It just gives you a lot of opportunity that you don't usually get in real life. In case, you know, you want to, you never wanted, you wanted to just say be a doctor, but you never actually wanted to be like maybe a scientist. Or I got to learn about like my brain so the, and the things that my brain is capable of doing. And what would brain science be without a little yuck factor, like touching real human brains? It feels a bit um, weird, kind of weird. Mushy. <laughs> yeah, well, it can be a little mushy. You know, the Brain Fair is part of Brain Awareness Week, a global campaign to increase the public's knowledge of the progress and benefits of brain research. Now, we were there with the kids from PS and IS 171. A little later in the day, the high school students came through. Wow. Mushy brain. Is that what it feels like, Mr. Neuroscientist? Well, you know, it depends on whether you're talking a fresh brain or oh. one that's been stuck in formaldehyde like that. Wow. It's a little firmer that way. Glad I asked. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Max.